Cheers. Rio. I'm on time, I'm not late. You've done well. I got your coffee. Thank you very much. That's actually Cheers. that one. Thank there you. you go. Well, before we get started, I have to say welcome. Welcome aboard. TNT are delighted to have you on board and everyone that works behind the scenes and in front of the camera, behind camera a lot. <laughs> Do you have to say this? I am being paid. <laughs> I thought you were going to be a pundit, not my driver, but... Uh, what has it come to that I'm actually now driving around the presenter? How did it come about? How did it come about? I worked as a runner before, so mm -hmm. I recognised the other jobs that people do, like the production stuff and all that. And then I watched yours and I was like, you've got to get rid of Rio. <laughs> and, then, and then I heard that you're on a really lucrative long-term contract so they okay. couldn't get rid of you. So okay. then I was like, okay, I've got to work with him. So. Oh, so this is what, is this a trial then, being a driver, just as an alternative, maybe? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It wasn't immediate, mm. but it did go very quickly once it started to move. So mm. there were a lot of rumours before I'd even been approached, if I'm honest. You became like a, almost like you you talk about football or sports in general. Yeah. Now you're being talked about how the sports people you talk about normally. What did it feel like? Yeah, it was, I, I was like, well, this is my comeuppance, isn't it? <laughs> all, of, <laughs> all of those times that I wake up on radio and I go, well, here's a rumor I'm going to tell three million people about, <laughs> and then suddenly the rumor was me, and I was like, we're not talking about it to my producers. So what are you expecting them from TNT? I think the thing that sold me the most, they want to be near the fans, they want to be by the fans. And I think for me as a presenter, what I've always really enjoyed is that rough and ready presenting, mm. going to the grounds, being there and like... Yeah, being amongst the fans is the best bit. different though, the isn't energy, it? The energy is different, man. I and must think can, that's what... You can't replicate it in the no. studio. And I think that's what we're, we're going to be about this year, I think. It's yeah. about being right in amongst the fans and really be, immersing ourselves in that fan culture, innit? Weirdest thing is, I've never worked with you. I feel like I've worked with everyone in the world of sport, but I've never worked with you, and now, like, we're crossing over. I actually didn't like you, I've got to be honest, because you were part of the opposition. I don't know, I'm very territorial about stuff. Normally, you cross paths with people, but yeah. I think I've seen you once or twice in yeah, passing, that's it. Literally. Did you have a say in it? No. We don't get a say, no. no I way. would, I'd love a say. I'm Who not would a big you have man. picked if you had a say? I'd pick you. No, you wouldn't. I'd have you. <laughs> you have to say that. You have You're to in the say car, I ain't saying anyone else. <laughs> In terms of this season, Champions League with the four teams that are in it, Arsenal, obviously, Manchester City, Newcastle, and then your guys, Manchester United. Mm. For me, those are four, obviously, Man City, treble winners, etc. But then you've got these like three fan bases that I think in football are huge. Mm. When people say to me, what's the best stadium you've been to for fans, yeah. Newcastle will be in my top four or five mm -hmm. easy because I remember we were, we were beating them 6-2, I think, or 6-1 it was and their fans were there, full house, no one leaving, screaming. They love their club, they're, they're a great fan base, and I, I think they've waited a long time for this as well. So mm. they're, they're like sitting there, like every single second counts for them, which mm. is going to be great for us. My dad's a Geordie, but my whole family, like the, the London side, mm. they're all Arsenal. Okay. So it's never, so it's never been you. my number one team, but it's been, it's been a team that I have a lot of affection for. So you're mad Arsenal then? Yeah. So do you think they're going to do well this year? They have to because they've just spent 100 million on one player alone. Yeah. And then they brought in Kai Havertz and other players and things like that. Timber. Timber as well, yeah. um, who I didn't know a lot about. I don't think many people did, but Big I've player. had so many great Big things player. about him. United so, tried to get him before this time, March, didn't they? Yeah. Really? Yeah, they couldn't get him. The one big difference I think that they have is that last year, no one expected them to be up there. This season, they have a target on their back mm. every time they play. Very different pressure. How do you think my driving's been, by the way? I think I've been quite nice. good. I think you've been holding back quite a little Quite smooth, bit. isn't it? Yeah. Do you oh. like your boxing? Yeah, I like boxing. Working in boxing the last few years and getting to be ringside and watch it like I've never watched it before. Oh. When I first started watching it that close, I was like, oof. Daniel Dubois, do you think you can beat Usyk? <sighs> Thing is, I love Daniel Dubois. But I'm also a little bit obsessed with Usyk. I just think oh, yeah. he's so weirdly brilliant. Yeah. I want to see the British fighters do well, of course, and his footwork's incredible and everything yeah. he does is so calculated and thought out and smart. 
so that would worry me a little bit. But I'm going to go and do it, so I'm going to Poland for that. That's my first oh, yeah. fight. Yeah. Oh, wicked. So you're doing Amazing. multiple sports for TNT then? Yeah. So you're not playing games, are you? You're coming no. in and taking over. <laughs> to be a top presenter, mm. do you feel you need to have had a hand over all sports? What I did, I think the best thing that I could have done was I grew up behind the camera, so like all the production mm. route. It gives you an understanding of what everybody else behind the camera is trying yeah. to do. And it means that you're working with them instead of sometimes when you don't understand each other's jobs, it's almost mm. like you're working against each other. How excited are you? Very excited. To start a new project with a new team, that's actually having like a clean slate is a really great place to start. So mm. I'm excited about it. I feel a little bit nervous as well because I feel like I'm the new kid in school and you guys all know each other and you've been in lessons together for a few years. You sit at the back of the class and I feel like I'm coming in and I'm going to sit at the front of the class um, and be the most intelligent one. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming in the school prefect. That's how I feel, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just go in and just follow my lead. I'm the leader. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm established. <laughs> like I said before, you're good at what you do. You ain't nervous, are you? No, not really. I was just playing up for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> 10 sure. out of 10, actually. Excellent driving skills. Good well first, done. Good start. All right, take care. Bye.